We've just grown our town to 20 residents and we want to increase productivity. A good way to do that is to improve the residents' happiness. And the first thing you want to look at is housing. Our newest resident, Wietosla. I'm never going to know how to pronounce these names, but he's at negative 3%. I just invited him to the town. He has no house, no job, no food, and no firewood. That's kind of where they start out. So we're going to assign him a house and that should improve his happiness as soon as if you look in the top left corner there, that all goes away because we have plenty of food, water and firewood in the town. So as soon as you assign them a house and as long as they have food, water and firewood there, that's going to increase their happiness right away. We take a look at him. Still no job, but he's at 2% and in increasing and that should keep going up just doing that alone so we're gonna head back to our town here hop on our donkey head to town and then we're gonna give him a job show you guys my donkey there you go here's my donkey can't <laughs> can't afford a horse yet so this is how we're rolling the donkey's cool because you can put extra weight he carries about just by default he carries 30 kilograms of weight of extra weight and you can ride him to and from town. I don't even know if he's any faster, to be honest. Or we're heading back to town. And we're going to give our new resident a job, and that should help out the happiness. All right, and here's our town. Nice growing town. We've got all kinds of farm animals. We've got farming. Our buildings are a little dilapidated, so we'll go over that in a little bit. But first, we're going to take a look at our new resident. As you can see, he still has no job, but he's at negative 1%. And it's going to continue to go up alone. But as soon as you assign him a job, that's going to be the second step. Go to workplace and find something he's good at. You look at the skills there and see what's available. He could work at the hen house. He would be good at that. And you can see his skill is at level three. The higher their skill at a particular job, they're the higher their happiness is going to be. So we can either give them animal breeder at the hen house, hunting lodge, be okay at seamster, okay at smithy. We already got someone at the well, got someone at the woodshed. So I think we're going to assign him as a hunt. His hunting skill is at three. His mood is at negative one right now. And we're going to see that improve just by assigning him a job. Now he's got a house. He's got a job. And you want to make sure that they all have food, water, and fire. Right now, with 20 residents, I've got two woodsheds. One over here, one on the over other side there. They use up a lot of firewood. And you want logs as well to continue building out your town. Now, I've assigned him to work here at the hunting lodge. You can see his mood is continuing to go up. He's at 0% right now and that will continue to go up just having a job and having food water and firewood we're gonna have him make some more leather so we can make some money off those simple bags you don't want to just assign them a house you want their house to be in good shape right now as you can see a lot of our houses we got holes in our roof we've got holes in our walls we got to take care of that so if you take a look they're at 22 and 20 percent and their house is damaged if you want to keep their happiness the more damaged it gets the lower their mood's gonna go and the higher the condition of the house the better their mood's gonna get so we're gonna go ahead and start repairing the houses right now and that's gonna be a good step in improving the mood of our townsfolk bring out your little mallet Go into build mode and you go repair and all the orange you see that's going to be what needs to get fixed so we're going to need a lot of straw and we're going to need some sticks all right we got our straw we got our sticks let's start fixing these houses All right, so we fixed fixed up some of these houses. Yeah, everyone seems pretty happy. Not happy, but they're getting there. 
There we go. This house was in bad shape. Now you can see their their mood's going up. Just fixing their house. They had a giant hole in the side of their house. We fixed it, and now their mood's improving. As you can see here, all the houses are now the status. There's nothing next to it. So that means they're in good shape. And that's going to improve the mood of your town overall. The next thing you want to do is grab some fur. And I'll show you exactly why in a moment. We'll start with 38 fur. So we'll go to their house real quick. They're the least happy right now. They're at 8%. And we definitely want to boost their mood. That'll help them be happier. It'll also help their productivity. We got a blacksmith and a cook. And let's uh, let's see what we can do to improve. So we've got a couple rugs. So what you want to do, you look down at the floor, you go decorate. Slot one, we have a badger for a rug. We got two of those. Let's add a third one. And then you want to decorate the attic as well. And the third First thing you do is add a straw. What is that? A hemeli. You just need straw to do it. It's an easy way to imp improve their happiness. Add some more straw. And once you level up, you can actually start adding some, some other things. You can add lighting, hanging lantern, flower hemeli. But you've definitely got to level up your building technology. So we're not quite there yet. So right now we'll start with the straw and we'll see what that does for them. As you can see, they're up to 10% now and it, that's going to continue to go up over time. As you can see, their mood's still going up. So we'll give them a little time, see how, uh, how their mood continues to improve. Yeah, we've got another resident here that we can improve their situation. Just hit A there while you're looking up. Just start adding more of the straw. Yeah, just a real simple way to straw everywhere. Real simple way to start improving the mood. You can see it's already improving. Yeah, we got some more residents here. Let's uh, let's see if we can help them out. Little badger for a rug. Yeah, give them four little rugs there. That made them very happy. They're getting a lot happier quick. Decorate their attic. There we go. We can see there just makes a big difference. You know, just do a couple things. You got extra fur. It's real inexpensive. It's just an easy way to improve the mood of your town. Another way to improve the mood of your town is to have in each house have both one male and one female within 10 years of age of each other. Eventually, they're going to get pregnant like Olga is right here. Take a look at Olga. You can see... The green icon under status, that means that she's currently pregnant. As soon as she has the baby, her happiness increases a lot. As you can see on here, everyone listed as mother. You see Ed Berga, that's actually my wife. Everyone who's listed as a mother, they can't work for two years, but their happiness improves a lot. Also, when townsfolk get married, their happiness, the whole town's happiness improves as well. So as you can see, just that little work we did, we've got several townsfolk, their happiness is improving. So let's keep at it. This is my house here. We already got some for rugs. Ed Berga and a little greaser. You know how it is with monarchs. Do what they say, but do not get too close to them. Yeah, she's pretty political. I mean, it's all right. <laughs> she's a good mother at least all right so the next thing you'll want to do is insulate your houses to do that you'll need to either buy some daub d-a-u-b or you'll need some clay and some straw and turn that into daub to do that you go over to your barn your workbench the scheme is only 50 coins not too bad and you start making it need a lot of clay and a lot of straw. You'll just start going to your houses. I'll do my house first. Got to keep Ed Berga and little baby greaser happy. All right, so you go up to the wall and you actually go building mode. Add insulation. Ooh. 
we'll need to buy some more, but as you can see, adding insulation, that should help make people, make your townsfolk happier. As you can see, Edberga and little baby Drogowit, aka little baby Greaser, they're getting happier already. So that's a really good way, fairly inexpensive, to start making your townspeople happy. We need a lot more clay. Let's go get some more clay. We're gonna we're gonna go help out our town. Now, if you don't have a lot of clay nearby to mine, you can build an excavation shed and you can have them mine clay. And they can mine a ton of clay, 50 clay per day. And that should be plenty. It only take you a couple days at that rate to uh, insulate the rest of your houses. Go here, make some more daub. As we can see, wife and baby greaser are both happy now, and we're not even done. Add a little more insulation. There we go. And then once your house is fully insulated, you want to start decorating the walls. All right, wife and baby greaser, they're pretty happy right now, but we can do better. So you've insulated the walls. Now it's time to decorate. Let's put in some shelves. All right, so the first one, just a wooden shelf. Put a little hanging rack there. All right, here we go. Put a deer trophy on the wall. Got to impress the wife. The wife and the kid. You know, that's for it. That's a little more for us. I'm not going to lie. We can't quite do a Vincent trophy on the wall. We do have one. I think we put it in here. Yeah, there we go. It's a bison skull there. We're going to leave it until we uh, have the skill to put it on the wall. All right, so we're doing a little decorating here. We got something on the walls. We got a little hanging rack for for we got a little rack up there. Let's uh let's take a quick look here. Her and Drogowit, they're happy. Let's see if we got some clay yet. Clay, we got a lot of clay. There we go. All right, just took one day. We got all this clay. Yeah, we need a bunch of straw. And then we're gonna make some daub. We're gonna insulate all these houses. We got a lot of houses to insulate. Let's see. Let's uh let's see if we can make them happy. Once she has her little baby, she'll be happy. This is a little tiny house though. All right, we're not gonna insulate these little dumpy houses. We got the, this is the high rent district over here. Let's see how everyone's doing over here. They're pretty happy, but let's uh, let's boost it up a bit. All right, this is a decent house. They're pretty happy. Let's, uh, let's insulate this house. Add insulation. And they're already starting to get happy. But yeah, we got a lot of clay coming in. You can see our house is coming along. We got another house here. And uh, it'll be just a few days and we're gonna get all the houses insulated. And that's a good first step. I mean, that's how you start getting your villagers happier. You start decorating your houses after that. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know down in the comments if you have some ways that you like to raise your villagers' happiness, and we'll see you next time. Peace.